One, two, three. Hey guys, happy Monday. It is time for another episode of Royally Rumbled. My name is Jordan. I'm Robert, and we are in week three of June in our 2008 universe here. And this is our go-home show for our next pay-per-view, Night of Champions. That's right. So that episode will air next week. You'll get the full pay-per-view uh, with our commentary pending the arrival of Robert's baby. He's he's coming at some point. We don't know when. Uh, could be any day. Could happen any- right now. I have no idea. Yeah. But we're just going to pretend like nothing's happening until it happens. <laughs> So, of course, stay with us for updates on that, but let's roll right into Monday Night Raw. This episode of Monday Night Raw is emanating live from East Rutherford, New Jersey, my old stomping grounds. The very first match, we have Jeff Hardy versus Marcus Corvon. Hardy and Corvon trade strikes and the action spills to the outside. Once there, Corvon overpowers Jeff and tosses him back into the ring. Jeff starts battling back in typical Hardy fashion, causing Corvon to retreat to the outside. Jeff follows and they continue to beat each other down. Jeff leaps from the top rope to the outside. Jeff hits a twist of fate and it's over. But suddenly, the world heavyweight champion Randy Orton's music hits and he attacks Jeff from behind. And Randy Orton will defend against Jeff Hardy on our very next episode, which is the pay-per-view Night of Champions. Match two is Ashley versus Mickey James versus Candice Michelle. The winner will join Natalia and Michelle McCool in the next women's title match. This is an incredible triple threat bout. We saw huge spots as well as Mickey James taking out Ashley to get the pinfall victory and enter herself into the women's championship match. Match three, we have William Regal taking on Shelton Benjamin. The winner of this match chooses the stipulation for their title bout on Sunday. Regal and Shelton go back and forth trying to out-wrestle one another. Regal ditches the ground game in favor of a more physical, brawling style match, but Shelton stays with him and answers with some hard-hitting shots himself. Regal maintains his stiff style and wears down Benjamin to hit a Regal cutter but he doesn't go for the pin. Instead, he chooses to inflict more damage by locking in the regal stretch. And it's elementary from here. Benjamin has no choice but to tap out. So incredible happening here. William Regal wins against Shelton Benjamin, gets to choose the stipulation, and I'm getting word that William Regal is going to choose a two out of three falls match for the Intercontinental Championship. Wow. Wow, two out of three falls, man. I'm excited. I cannot wait. Match four, we have Rey Mysterio taking on the Samoan bulldozer Umaga. Umaga looks to avenge his week one loss, and Rey is coming off a loss to Triple H himself. Rey has all the momentum on his side at the start of this match, but eventually Umaga cuts him off. Umaga is out for blood, but Rey takes back control with a 619 and frog splash to pick up the victory. But suddenly, the game viciously blindsides Rey Mysterio with a kendo stick, and I've decided that because of his actions, Rey Mysterio versus Triple H at Night of Champions will be an extreme rules match to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. So already crazy stuff on Raw, but it's about to get crazier, because the main event is Air Boom, taking on Dolph Ziggler and John Morrison, the winner of which will be named the number one contender for the World Tag Team Championships, and it's a tornado tag match. So here we go. First up, we have Dolph Ziggler. Coming out with his partner, 
I've teamed them up. They've decided to join forces. Ziggler and Morrison. That's right. Uh, we saw Ziggler face off against uh, Shad Gaspard a couple weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Uh, had a lot of success with Morrison in his corner. So this will be the first time that we see the two team up. Morrison is not amused. <laughs> no, uh, he, he is all business here. They are ready to become the number one contenders for the tag titles. That is for sure. I mean, who wouldn't want to become the number one contenders for the tag titles? Uh, right now, of course, we have Air Boom and uh, Ziggler and Morrison about to tie it up here in tornado tag action. Tornado so, tag action. So that's very exciting. Uh who do you think's got the advantage here? Um, my I would say Air Boom has the advantage because Air Boom is the traditional tag team. They've been together longer. They're more on the same page. That's true. And here but they are. But we don't know technically what to expect from Morrison and Ziggler. So also very true they um like i said they they have really shown an attitude and an arrogance here on monday night raw since forming a team yep. and they're friends in real life we right. know so it makes sense that they're together we see their instagrams <laughs> but yeah this is the uh I was confused about the last entrance, and then once they hit the pose in the ring, I was like, oh, that's who it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, then we got uh, Air Boom here, obviously. Evan Board doing his best. Our truth uh, <laughs> Here we go. Tornado tag action. It's going to be wild. <laughs> got four super athletic wrestlers here, so... And Morrison and Ziggler, and here we go. They're showing signs of life, but Kofi battles back. There's a lot to digest here. <laughs> Evan Bourne going for that leg lariat, but Ziggler reversing. Kofi coming out with some strong moves out of the gate. That that big... Uh, oh, we got a single leg crab. But Ziggler able to get out, overpower Evan Bourne. And now Ziggler and Morrison are taking control. But Kofi once again. <laughs> Ziggler showing off in the corner there. There's chaotic action. Uh, and Morrison gets dumped to the outside and Kofi follows. Now what made you want to make this a tornado tag match? I wanted to see technically four high flyers just be let loose no rules just let it happen and Morrison with that Ooh. big T-bone suplex oh we got a pin and born with a crucifix there had plenty of time to come back in and, and cut it off and half and half suplex from Ooh. John Morrison Evan Bourne is oh just eating a kick, kick to the oh face but Bourne will not be stopped there takes Morrison down Kofi battling back also. That swinging neck neck breaker. <laughs> <laughs> Ziggler going for that clothesline, but but missing. What and is Morrison's plan here? Oh, he hangs Born up on the ropes. The Kofi's in charge on one side, and Morrison's in charge on the other. <laughs> They might need to help their partners out here. <laughs> Submission attempt. And and if I were Evan Bourne, I would be mad that my partner's not helping me out. Right. But those and are the uh, effects of the tornado tag match. And Bourne gets dumped to the outside and Morrison follows suit here. 
Oh, now Ziggler looks like Ziggler's gonna try to. Oh, but Morrison accidentally backfisting Ziggler. Friendly fire. And that gives Kofi enough time to catch Ziggler with a few right hands. Oh, Ooh. and Ziggler crashes into that ring post. The crowd here in New Jersey going crazy for this wild tornado tag team main event. Who needs a ring, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Pinfall's got to happen on the inside. And the traditional tag team rules thrown out the window. And Morrison's in the ring with Evan Bourne. Something's got to give here. Uh-oh, Morrison. With that huge chop. What do we got? There it is, the Moonlight Drive. Cover. One. Two. No. Oh. Wow. Evan Bourne able to get that shoulder up, showing his resiliency. Yeah, and Kofi was nowhere to be found. Ziggler had knocked him clean out on the outside. I thought that could have been it. Evan Bourne, wait a minute, Tornado DDT. Well, it's but a tornado tag. you got to have a tornado DDT. <laughs> rules There's is that rules. standing moonsault that we've Kofi seen. Kofi with a powerbomb. Cover one, two, three. Wow. Air boom. <laughs> Coming back from the dead. Kofi still beating him down after the bell. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was that crucifix that Bourne applied earlier. That was beautifully done. Yeah. And and I just think it was it was bad timing for Morrison and Ziggler. Yeah. Ziggler had just eaten a powerbomb from Kofi. And Bourne barely getting the shoulder up after the moonlight drive. There's the powerbomb. Ziggler went for the the Famouser, I think, and Kofi caught him yeah, huge in impact midair. In Just like that, it was over as John Morrison eats the, the standing moonsault from Evan Bourne. So that means on our next episode of Monday Night Raw, we will have Air Boom again taking on the Tag Team Champions Crime Time. So, wild action on Raw. The Tornado Tag ended a little abruptly, but Morrison eats the pin and Air Boom moves on to face the World Tag Team Champions Crime Time on the next Monday Night Raw. Uh, so, very interesting stuff there. We had Mickey James punch her ticket to a triple threat match against Natty and Michelle McCool on the next Monday Night Raw as well. So, those are two title matches not taking place at night of champions but on the next episode of monday night raw so very interesting there we also had triple h and Rey mysterio set themselves up for a number one contendership match at night of champions which is going to be fought under extreme rules so william regal defeating shelton benjamin in a non-title match he gets to select the stipulation for Night of Champions, and he's already decided that he's going to beat Shelton Benjamin in a two out of three falls match. He wants to embarrass him and prove that he is the better wrestler, period. That's right, and then we also have Jeff Hardy facing Randy Orton for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. I'm very excited for my man, the charismatic Enigma. <laughs> uh, but... Very excited for next week's episode of yes. Royally Rumbled's 2008 Universe. Uh, Night of but, Champions. But before we get there, we're going to stop over on Friday Night Smackdown. This episode takes place from Pensacola, Florida. Ooh. Match one kicks off with the Hart Dynasty versus Big Show and Kane. This is a non-title match. As Kane and the Big Show are looking for redemption here, the Hart Dynasty have had their number at every turn. They eventually beat the champs 
after delivering a double choke slam to D.H. Smith. Kid shows his disappointment in his partner after the match and is clearly frustrated after suffering their first loss as a team. Will this frustration have any impact on the tag team championship match at Night of Champions as Kane and the Big Show get one more opportunity at the WWE Tag Team Championships? Match 2 saw Mr. Kennedy versus Christian. Mr. Kennedy looked to capitalize on all his momentum by taking on Christian, and he started off by bringing the fight directly to him, but Captain Charisma brought it right back. Christian hit a gigantic crossbody from the top rope to the outside. They wind up brawling into the crowd, where Kennedy gets the upper hand, until Christian fights back and connects with a reverse DDT and a kill switch. But he's only able to get a two count. Kennedy, setting him up in the corner, delivers a Green Bay plunge and covers, but Christian somehow stays alive. Christian counters and nails Kennedy with a reverse DDT and connects with a spear for the pinfall victory. Match 3 saw the number one contender Melina take on Victoria. Melina looking to prove herself in this match to carry some momentum into her Divas title match on the next episode against champion Beth Phoenix. Melina took control in the beginning, but left herself open for Victoria to counter. Victoria continually screamed at Melina during the match that she's better than her, and deserves to have the same opportunities that Melina received. Victoria showcased her power, and even tried to hit her own version of the Glam Slam, but Melina was able to counter and hit the last call, pinning Victoria for a decisive victory prior to her title shot in just a few short days. Shawn Michaels has laid out a challenge to JBL for a match at Night of Champions. JBL proudly pointed out that Shawn's record is less than stellar, and that he doesn't deserve a match, let alone a title shot, since it is Night of Champions. So... King Booker interrupted and also challenged JBL. So as the GM, I only saw fit to have a contenders match tonight. Shawn Michaels did it, beating Booker T with some sweet chin music. But after the match, JBL attacked Michaels from behind with a clothesline from hell. JBL's entire plan from the beginning was to completely tarnish HBK's record, keeping him out of the title picture... But unfortunately for JBL, he's got to go one-on-one with Shawn Michaels at Night of Champions, and the title will be on the line. So lots of things happening on Friday Night SmackDown, but we're not done because the main event is going to be even bigger. It's the biggest match we've had on Friday Night SmackDown in the history of the couple of weeks that we've been doing this. But it's fine. It's fine. We're going to get The Undertaker... John Cena and Batista taking on WWE Champion Chris Jericho, Edge, and The Miz in six-man tag action. We're not even doing entrances. We're getting right into the thick of it, so let's go to the ring. And Edge right out the gate, that huge clothesline, taking out John Cena. This match is going to be wild. Uh, Oh, and Edge looking for that spear in the corner, but Cena able to reverse. These two know each other so well. Cena with a gut wrench side suplex. Oh, my God. The power of John Cena. Obviously, Hawkins and Ryder missing from Edge's corner. Ooh. But in turn, we get The Miz and WWE Champion Chris Jericho. But Cena's not alone because he's got the animal and the dead man. Unbelievable team there. Now, everyone in this match has been having some sort of issue with the other in some way. Cena and Miz obviously have tension. Of 
Chris Jericho faces The Undertaker at Night of Champions for the WWE Championship. And Edge and Batista have been butting heads lately. And now Miz tagging in after Cena's been downed <laughs> to get some offense. Miz picking the bones. That's such a Miz thing to do. It is. It is the most Miz thing to do. Laying his knee into the the lower back there of Cena, but Cena does not stand for it. Oh, what a big side slam from Cena. Just showing off the power. Yeah, you don't want to mess big, with 2008 a, John Cena. A big, gawky, clumsy side slam from John Cena. Wouldn't expect anything better or worse. <laughs> And in comes the animal. Oh, Miz able to get out of the Whoa. way for a split second, but Batista quickly overpowering him. The raw power of the animal. And also, it's worth noting that Batista and Jericho themselves have had some run-ins as well. So Batista has uh, a few enemies in this match. That's true. Uh, Batista uh, losing to Chris Jericho at Backlash, the previous pay-per-view. Uh -oh. And oh Ooh. my god, Batista gets a German suplex on the steel steps on the outside. He may be dead. Edge is like, <laughs> you know how bad my neck is? Yeah. Oh no, Batista, Batista lives. Okay, the animal has arisen here, but he has to break the 10 count, I guess. Yeah, that was close. But he doesn't tag out. That's very interesting. But... Undertaker dying to get into the ring. <laughs> well, sure, Undertaker's the fresh, fresh man, and in comes WWE champion Chris Jericho. And Cena mm -hmm. gets the hot tag, but Jericho, but Jericho shutting Jericho things down. <laughs> Uh-oh. But wait a minute. There's the Undertaker. Taker hot shots him. Oh. Ooh. And <laughs> Jericho. Right. Oh, my God. A rope hung DDT to the dead man, and he might be one. Ooh. And a roaring elbow. Oh, my God. Jericho is a force to be reckoned with. He's been on a rampage. He wants competition. He hasn't lost yet. Beaten The Undertaker. He's beaten Bobby Lashley. He's beaten Batista. He's beaten Christian. But he gets The Undertaker at Night of Champions. And Cena able to counter out. Irish whip. And now Jericho's reeling. Jericho's in trouble. And Cena asking Batista to move so he could stand on the apron for a second, but did not actually tag out. Catch his breath, you know? Just real quick. Quick breather on the apron. In control of Jericho, slamming his face into the corner, and now... In comes the dead man. Is the legal man. We're getting some double team and a big backdrop. Almost landed on not Charles Robinson there. Ooh. Ooh, big, big knee from the dead man to Jericho. He's going to try to get as many licks in as he can before they face off at uh, Night of Champions. That's true. The best pure striker in WWE. <laughs> you hate that. I, I absolutely hate that because he's not and he never was. <laughs> oh, choke big slam, choke slam. Oh. countered. <laughs> Jericho able to knock down the Undertaker and picks the legs. Is he going to try to turn him over? Ooh. He does. Undertaker in trouble. Walls of Jericho locked in, but Taker counters out. Yeah, 2008 Undertaker still has the lower body dexterity to push Jericho out of <laughs> the walls of Jericho. <laughs> And Jericho once again taunting, uh -oh. but Taker's fired up. Oh, Ooh, but Jericho counters again. Taker able to, 
hit that big clothesline. Yeah, rest hold. <laughs> Got to slow the pace of the match down. Let's throw, throw a boot at him real quick. Just let him know you're still there. Another rest hold. All right. <laughs> Taker's blown up. <laughs> he needs to regain his uh, momentum here. But let's see what he can do. He throws Jericho. Oh, oh, and once again, Jericho able to sidestep. And now Undertaker in enemy territory. Clothesline Bulldog. Vintage Jericho. <laughs> With the uh, bicep curl to boot at the end there. That yeah. was nice. Let's see. Another Irish whip to the other side again. Another clothesline Bulldog. Into his own wow. corner. The disrespect. Jericho's got to try to get it into all four corners. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Oh. Jericho was looking to send the dead man back into another corner, but... Ooh. Jericho <laughs> does it again! Ah. <laughs> Third time's that's... the charm. Oh, my God. Undertaker's in trouble here. Codebreaker. I love that move so that's much. That's the move that did it. Cover one, oh. two... two. No, the Undertaker able to get the shoulder up, and Jericho once again. This is not an elimination match, and Undertaker's partners very ca casually hanging out on the apron there. Well, well now Undertaker ate a second code breaker and is now bleeding, but Batista able to make the save. And here's took Edge too long. DDT to Batista, and Batista's out of the ring <laughs> and what is Jericho looking to do here now after two code breakers and Undertaker fighting back uh oh could it be this the last ride yes Ooh. <laughs> connects and Jericho might have whiplash the way his neck bounced off uh -oh. that bottom rope and Undertaker was looking for a tombstone and Jericho counters and now that neck breaker tags in edge. So what? Oh no. Already? Oh, okay. I thought edge was setting up for a spear. I was like, Oh God. Let's see what edge plans to do here. A WrestleMania rivalry renewed. We had edge versus the undertaker at WrestleMania 24. But here we are as uh -oh. Undertaker looking for the tombstone. And he does the rated R superstar in trouble. Cover. But the referee, oh. one, two. Wow, that was the weirdest sequence. <laughs> and Undertaker. Undertaker feigns taking down the straps. <laughs> Uh-oh. And Hell's and Gate. Hell's Gate, but the Miz there just to break it up. Now let's get the animal in there, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Undertaker has done what he has is <laughs> set out is, to do. Yeah. Batista Cover. picking the bones. One, One. two. Oh, oh no, not even a two count. <laughs> Batista Spine Buster connects to the rated R superstar. Blowing out his knee. There you go. What's he looking for here? Oh. oh. Edge with that spinning heel kick counter. Spear. A spear. One. One. Two. Two. Oh. No. <laughs> Batista getting the arm up in the nick of time there. Oh, my God. Now the Miz, Miz versus Batista seems like a very, very big mismatch on paper, or a Miz match, if you will. <laughs> well, clearly, as he is in control right now of the animal. But wait a minute, I spoke too soon. Oh, Ooh. or did I? The Miz, a shoulder, shoulder breaker. breaker. <laughs> Look at him go, huh? He just... No, nope, no. Nope. But here's Batista. 
What do we got? Camel Clutch. The Steiner Recliner. <laughs> and Miz able to trip Batista up, falling into the ropes. But Batista regains control. Batista takes a really slow, casual approach to this match. Well, he's in the ring with the Miz. He's Everyone in no rush. undersells the Miz. <laughs> and Miz just hit that neck breaker combination there. Body shot to Batista and a big drop kick. Yeah, very big. And Batista just kind of landed it, you know? <laughs> Oh, and we've seen him utilize that move before. That uh, hammerlock, hammerlock yeah. side suplex. And now is working the arms of Batista. But Batista Ooh, able to get the, the hot the Undertaker. tag. <laughs> and Miz sidesteps. Wait a minute. Skull crushing finale on the Undertaker. Cover. One, two. Oh my God. <laughs> the Undertaker gets the shoulder up and John sorry, Cena I... taking the long way out, but getting up before he exits the ring. <laughs> to exit the ring. <laughs> I sat there in stunned disbelief for a moment. I thought the Miz was going to put the Undertaker away. <laughs> oh the, my God. The Undertaker. What is how is Cena blown up there, dude? I don't understand what's happening on that corner. Cena hasn't been in the ring for like five minutes. Well, well, Edge just knocked him down. Well, yeah, but so I mean, Cena's blown up. <laughs> Undertaker can't see. Okay, <laughs> he's wearing the crimson mask. I mean, the Undertaker has eaten a code breaker. A uh, two and. And uh, a skull crushing finale. A skull crushing finale. And he's delivering a one arm choke slam, slam to Jericho. Jericho's vulnerable. Undertaker throwing Jericho into his own corner, but Jericho. A little miscommunication there. Mm, Resets. Reset. Now it up. Undertaker's in trouble. Miz, legal man. Miz and okay. Jericho. The cohesion uh -oh. between these three teams, or these three competitors. Double back body drive. Interesting. Double super back suplex. And Miz with that leg DDT. I hate that move so much. <laughs> I really do. I hate it. Wait a minute. Miz, feet on the ropes. One, two. Batista just watches it and doesn't do anything to help his cause. There's clearly a the heel team here is much better suited for one another. <laughs> that's that's what happens when you put egos together. Oh, and there's that big neck breaker. The Mizzard of Oz, I believe. <laughs> and the cover one, two. No! Oh, <laughs> so close! Miz is working The Undertaker right now. Absolutely working him. A punch to the face. Another skull crushing finale? <laughs> and he's not your US champion. Cover! One! Two! Three! three. The Miz! <laughs> The Miz has just pinned the number one contender for the WWE Champion. Oh my god. The Miz has just pinned The Undertaker. After two skull crushing finales, I I'm in I'm in stunned silence. Disbelief. Confusion. <laughs> John Cena hadn't been in the ring in an official capacity for over five minutes of that match. <laughs> well, here we are. Miz once again picking up th the victory of his career here in 2008. And, and now Jericho carries all this momentum into Night of Champions. Unbelievable.
I don't even know. The, the Miz is a bona fide superstar right now, in my opinion. How does it, that even happen? It seems like it. Uh, not only has he been able to avoid a loss to John Cena in an official capacity, technically. Right. Uh, he has now pinned The Undertaker. That's unbelievable. And under you were saying the 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 egos on the on the 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 face team cena hadn't been in the match in five minutes at least batista watched miz put his feet on the ropes and just stood there like it was no big deal like there was no amount of trying to help out where the heels rallied around one another and wanted to punish the faces in that in that match it was unbelievable Exactly. And Undertaker, obviously the victim of the most damage in that match, yeah. I'd say. He was bleeding. Jericho hit two code breakers on him. The Miz hit two skull crushing finales. Yeah. The Mizzard of Oz. All of the offense that they all got in on him. Crazy. It was it makes sense. Yeah. They targeted him. And obviously Cena and Batista. There's maybe there's some heat there that we don't know about. What are you there's, hearing in the locker room? Like what's I'll have happening? To, I'll have to report back. Um, but Crazy. yeah, big episode of SmackDown this week. Lots of things coming your way very, very soon. Uh, we have Melina picking up a win over Victoria. Mm -hmm. So we will get Melina versus Beth Phoenix for the Divas Championship on the next episode, Night of Champions. Uh, we also have the WWE Tag Team Championship match between Kane and the Big Show and the Hart Dynasty, D.H. Smith and Tyson Kidd. Yeah. And then, of course, The Undertaker, Chris Jericho, WWE Championship match. We'll also get Shawn Michaels versus JBL for the United States Championship. But since there's been so much bad blood, I've decided to add a stipulation to the match. We are going to get those two in a no-holds-barred match. Nice. And on the Raw side, we have Triple H versus Rey Mysterio in an Extreme Rules match to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. We've got William Regal, the Intercontinental Champion, taking on Shelton Benjamin in a two-out-of-three falls match. And then... The world heavyweight champion, Randy Orton, taking on the challenger, Jeff Hardy. That's right. So many big things happening. Night of Champions. You're going to get to hear us call the whole show. So stay tuned for that one next week on our new episodes every Monday. Or try to. We're going to try to <laughs> adhere to that schedule as long as we could. Yep. Uh, I said earlier... Robert is expecting a baby any day now. Any day now. So uh, we're just going to let it ride and see and see where we go. <laughs> so uh, if you want to stay with us for updates, you can follow us across our social media channels at Royally Rumbled. You can hit subscribe here on YouTube uh, and you could, you know, like subscribe to whatever podcast platform you listen to and hear us talk some wrestling things we got some fantasy booking episodes to go back and listen to yeah. uh tons of great content definitely and if you want to follow us individually for whatever reason you can find me on instagram and twitter at yesball and then you can find me on instagram and twitter at jl24 fps so uh thank you for watching uh we're very excited to bring night of champions to you Got some great matches. Let us know who you think is going to win in the comments below. Uh, tweet us, comment on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Whatever uh, you want to do. Yeah. So uh, Or don't. It's cool. So, yeah, for Royally Rumbled, <laughs> I'm Jordan. I am Robert. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you for Night of Champions. Night of Champions.